I've been living by myself for over a year now and the change of environment and the difference between living with my family where a lot of the responsibilities were taken off of me where my mom would cook and all the hospitals like I was she would sign me up for hospitals and the school was taken care of to me moving to a whole different country basically by myself with my brother and having all these responsibilities on me where I had to sign up for the school myself register for myself the school hospitals doctor appointments my baby's vaccine my baby my dog's vaccinations cooking cleaning housework and also my personal life like everything was on me and I had no choice like not to sound cringe but I had to evolve like I had to change and I had to mature and it proved to myself that there's a lot of things that are in my hands like it, it gave me confidence about myself and my own actions and kind of forced me to change and what I realized from this is that your environment has a significant effect on you and you you could be like all these motivational youtubers who are like no it's all discipline it's all self will it's all self power but your environment generally it catches up to you sooner or later and it has a, a subconscious effect on you all the time the people you surround yourself with where you're living the neighborhood you're living in and who uh, like your career your workplace the school you go to like all of these factors have a subconscious impact on you that you probably don't even know about like I don't even know about it until I experienced this where I had to forcefully in such a short period of time have such a dramatic change in environments where now when I go on holidays because I used to just give myself excuses when I was on holidays where I was just like I'd, I'll eat like shit my family will take care of everything whatever they say like let's like let, let's just go have fun entertain ourselves where now when I go on holidays I realize that holy shit like I was just being so lazy I was giving myself so many excuses and just because I'm on holidays does not mean that I have to let myself go does not mean that I can just eat like shit and then regret it after and then be like how am I gonna lose all these kilograms like that is such a shit way of living because now I realize like when I spend time with myself like I legit have all the control all all the power with what I do on a daily basis all that time I control what I put that time into and if I surround myself with, with bad people I can say no the, like I can say no as much as I want to but the behaviors that they have the way they talk they will play into me subconsciously so why not make it easier for myself to succeed in because I can be like no like I will stand it like I, I'll just I'll just um, surround myself with these kinds of people because they're entertaining but if I can make it easier for myself why the fuck not like why would I not make it easier for the same way with diet if I went on a weight loss journey and if I have shit food in my house guess what sooner or later there will be a time and moment where I'm just not feeling it like I woke up from a fat nap I just want to eat something that's the first thing I grab because that was my automatic habits that used to be me when I was fat like I would just wake up from a nap uh, I'm hungry the first thing I want to eat like I don't even question it like it's like a subconscious automatic behavior but if I don't have shit food in my house like if I don't buy shit food from the grocery from the supermarkets then obviously it's going to be easier for myself to succeed in so yeah I can test my willpower I can discipline myself but if you can if that's in your control to choose your right environment why not like why would you not do that so another thing i realized is how much people can change and especially for myself where i feel like i've matured in so many ways and realize what i want to do in life and even the way i talk i feel like i'll just blabber on so much in the past where i would just say the first thing that would come to my mind and not think about the consequences and the like what I was speaking about where it's like I just wanted to be like I, w I just wanted to entertain and be liked by people and I feel like I've matured in the sense where I realize that people really can change because I've changed where now I just don't really think and care as much about what people what random people think and I'm placing more thought onto my actions and my behaviors and with like social media I'm I have like a lot of videos on like different kinds of topics and even if you look down on my first video or like I have a couple of, a couple of the first videos I feel like I've changed a lot in that sense like if you compare the two versions of me on like when did I start YouTube I think like 10 months ago nine months ago something like that to me now so yeah people change and people and it all depends on how much you want to change because 
you can turn your life around legit the next day and i'm sick of people saying that oh it all takes time it all takes time it does take time but it depends on what you're trying to change if you want to go from not doing anything the whole day to consistently drinking like you can generally change you don't have to take it slow you could just wipe out all that shit in your life start going to the gym start eating healthy and then it's all about consistency so it remains in your identity then it's about consistency but you can wipe out all these negative things that are affecting your life straight away you don't have to wait you know so yeah i kind of want to make a video today and mostly it was about environment where if you could make it easier for yourself just make it easier for yourself pick the right type of people you want to surround yourself with pick the the location that you want to live in and obviously maybe i'm speak i'm speaking i I'm, I'm realizing that i could be speaking from like a privileged perspective where there's like a lot of different variables but at the end of the day it is in your control and you it's just how far you're willing to go in order to change that and i i know it's harder than it seems getting rid of the friends that negatively impact you but it's possible and that's not an excuse you know where you're just like it's not an excuse for you to just be like oh it's hard it's obviously gonna be hard but it's gonna be it's gonna be worth it so yeah pick the type of people you want to surround yourself with and pick the type of place you put yourself in and the type of hobbies and what you do with your time because that really affects your perception of yourself and i feel like your perception of yourself then translates onto every different area of life how people treat you because if you respect yourself more people are going to respect you more it's like an automatic thing and it's like a subconscious thing you can tell when someone respects you and you can tell when you respect yourself and you pick up that on other people with these micro behaviors and also the words you choose and how much you think so yeah i'm not gonna blabber on i'm not gonna yap too much i also want to say that i'm thinking of creating um like a community where we just like talk and keep each other accountable and talk through problems and see how we can fix them and kind of just have like meetings kind of weekly on like a platform called school so if you're interested in that just tell me i'm in the stages of kind of researching it and seeing if people would be interested in that so if you're interested in that just tell me it's like where we just come together like a community and we just talk things out so yeah want to end it on this note today